Yeah, I'm the most tatted on the team for sure. I'm most tatted, yeah. Then, especially what I just did, my last little session, you know, I went in and finished the leg and got the head. I'm definitely the most tatted now. First tattoo, I was 14 years old. Got the, uh, my name, Terry, uh, a crown over a basketball. So, you know, that's a 14 year old type of tattoo anyway. But uh, that's around the time where people around me started getting them. Going to middle school, like being in eighth grade, like the guys start getting their basketball tattoos. He was real young, but it's a blessing that I, you know, I end up still playing basketball because I got a lot of friends that got basketballs on them that's not even close to, you know, making it to the NBA. <laughs> It's a rosary in here. I got this when I was 15. Right here is my sister named Trey. This is before I had all this. I had the rosary, then I had Trey, then I had BJ, my sister and my brother. It's like when I'm at the free throw line, I do like this. I bounce the ball two times and I hit the left side of my chest. I've been doing that since high school, probably before that. I got uh, a nice big angel like this. It like, fill it, fill it, fill it all out. When I, when I need to fill in the space, I let my tattoo artist, like I let him come up with the idea, but like the big pieces are, you could tell like the, the well thought of pieces I, I come up with. For example, like my dad, got motivation at the top, my dad, my uncle, both of my uncles. I want this to be my motivation arm, like Snoop who died, childhood friend. Like just as that, like I came up with these ideas. If you're gonna get a lot of tattoos, you, it's only right to at least get what you represent, like you know, your people around you, the people you, you really care about or where you from. Another arm, I have my, my grandmother name. I have GMB on my hand. I got a cross right here on my thumb. I got a, a rose growing out of a concrete. I got that from uh, Tupac. Ideas like you don't really see roses grow out of a concrete. So it's like basically like one in a million. Uh, screen mask. This is before the Scary Terry. This is true facts. I got this last summer. Pretty tatted. I got, I got a real one. It's just to remind y'all every day. I'm real. <laughs> oh, basically is symbolizes for me like real power. And I say like the secret to real power is to uh, never, never show your attentions. Never let no one see your face. I obviously do all three because I play professional basketball, but this is my real power right here. I see everything. Uh, this is probably like one of my newest, newest uh, tattoos I got. I know everybody, uh, 317, I was born March 17, and you know, every time I look at the clock, it's always 317, it always, like I always catch 317 all the time. So I'm like, it's only right I get this tatted on me somewhere. Your hair color over a little bit, that's gonna look cool. You can see the 317 just a little bit. Would you ever get your face tattooed? Yeah. No, I'm not touching my face. Yeah, I can keep adding to the head a little bit, cause you know, I, wear, I got a fade, but I ain't touching the face. I gotta keep this, this is me. Uh, always go back in and get tatted like right before the season. So I'm gonna have my tat man come to Boston when I, once I settle down and uh, I wanna do something crazy on the back. Yeah, I wanna basically like do it, a tribute to like all the people that like was role models in my life. Guys like Rev Run from Run DMC. I wanted that lifestyle. I see things that he taught his kids. So I wanted to get him tatted on me. I used to be crazy over Michael Vick when I was young. I want Michael Vick tatted on me. I'm gonna let my, my tattoo artist like just go crazy on my back and make it a nice piece. Oh, my legs. Legs I'm still working on. First, let me start off with the ankle hurts. Uh, this is probably my worst. I, I really don't know how I finished this, to be honest with you. Uh, this was bad, this was, but you know, obviously it's a dope look. Pharaoh, Aya Horace, and you got the crocodile who's not done yet because the ankle hurts a lot. Then you got the shark down here, it's not done because the ankle hurts. <laughs> Kangaroo is my favorite animal. Yeah, my favorite. I've been my favorite since I was young. Uh, this is my son, Justin. The, basically saying he's the king of the jungle. We got the uh, the crown on top of his head. I'm smiling. This was probably the first tat I had on my leg. And it says, God protect me from my friends because my enemies I can handle. Like me, my, me, my mom, and both of my aunties got this a couple years ago. Yeah, then I got GMB tatted on me again right here. I kind of like started doing it on my own. This was last summer. My tattoo artist, he was like, you, you can just you know, try to do yourself a little bit. So we drew it out and then, you know, I tried to go over it. He was just trying to teach me how to do it. And I did a little bit of the G, but it wasn't looking like a G. It was looking like another letter. So I let him finish it out. Have you ever had a tattoo that you 
you heard of the tattoo curse? You get a girlfriend's name. I mean, I've seen it, I heard of it, but you know, I'll stay away from that. <laughs> I'm cool on that. I know about the little tattoo curse. I'd rather get my homie tattooed on me than to get a girl tattooed on me. <laughs>